be making bases. What's going on, YouTube? It's your man, Ever J Music, owner of Beat Making Basics, and we're back again with another dope video. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe and turn on those bell notifications so you're going to know when we're going to post. And also leave a comment and like the video. All right. Please do that for me. Let's go ahead and jump into what we're going to cover. In this video, we're going to be covering Logic Pro 10 10.5's newest plugin called the Remix Effect. The Remix Effect. Okay. Is this this effect or this a plugin is going to be crazy? Uh, when it comes to your beats it's going to really take your beats up to the next level so let me show you what it's going to do first of all i'm going to let you hear the track that we're working with all right let's check this out So I'm not gonna give you too much fire up front, you know. That's 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 what we're working with so far, right? So the beat is pretty dope as it is, but if we use this plugin, we can do a couple of cool things. Now you can put this plugin on any of the actual individual tracks, but one thing I like doing is putting it on the master bus, okay, or on the master track. So what we'll do is we'll come over here to plugins and we're gonna scroll down to get to uh multi effects okay under there you have this fat effects step effect and we're gonna go to the new plugin which is the remix effect we'll go to stereo and this guy is gonna pop up now what you can do with this is over on this side you can do high pass and low pass filtering right here you can like repeat notes it's pretty much like a little DJ center you can come over here and slow up the track. You can, uh, you know, do a little kind of like a DJ scratch right here. You can play it again. You can filter it. So I'm going to kind of play around with the beat just so you can see what we could do. And then I'm going to show you how to actually record what you do. That's the main thing. So let me just go ahead and show you some examples of what you can do. So you can do all kinds of cool stuff like that, man. Like literally you can DJ your own beats and I mean, come up with a whole new vibe for the artists or just even if you want to release your tracks like on Spotify and everything like that um, as a standalone track. So this is what you would do if you want to record what you just did. Cause I could, as you can see, like if I was to play this back, nothing I just did um, would play back. You know what I'm saying? So what you'll do if you want to use this remix effect over your whole track, you're just going to go to your master or stereo bus and go down to multi effects, go down to remix stereo. Then what you'll do is turn on latch. Then you'll push a 
to get your automation window up you'll see your master bus right here and instead of going to display off you're going to go over here to main and select your remix effect from there you'll push a again to bring that close and then go ahead and go to the beginning of your track and you're just going to dj it up you just use your mouse and dj this joint up so let's just go from the beginning And so there you have it now like if I wanted to I could just go over here and push on read and now when I play it back it's not gonna record anything or anything like that it's just gonna have what I just did coolest part about this is I can still go in here and mix the track and everything like that so let me just let you hear this So I can come over here, say if this is too loud, bring that down. And 
again, the dopest part about this is I can also come over here, hit A for automation, and I can come in and fix anything I don't like. You feel me? Like, say if I messed up on the remix, I can come over here to the particular filter and everything like that and, and fix it. You feel me? So that's the coolest part about this I really like is that it's so much control that you have over your beats now. So if you like this video, man, go ahead and do me a favor. Hit the like button. Leave me a comment. But until then, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.